Hello all, this is the continuation of my previous video in which we have designed the PDA for the language of even palindromes. In this video, I am going to explain the instantaneous description and also once again we are going to analyze the transition rules uh, which I have already framed. See, this is the transition rules which we have already framed. This is the design of PDA. This transition rules explains the design of the PDA. Now, let us look into few rules. Look into this rule. Q0 AA. It is a situation. For this situation, the PDA reacts like this. So, how PDA react like this? Continue to stay in Q0. Already top of this track contains A. Above that, the A is also pushed. Now, let us observe this rule. In this rule also the situation is the same. From the state Q0 it reads A, top of the stack is A. But the PDA reacts in a different way. The status changed to Q1. Whatever is available at the top of the stack is removed. It is replaced by epsilon. So let us make a, one more uh, rule observation. Look into this rule. Sorry, not this rule. This rule. Q0 BB. In this case... PDA continues to stay in Q0 by pushing one more B onto the top of this track. Now look into this rule here. Here also the situation is the same. Q0, it reads B, top of the track is B, but it reacts in different way. It changes the state to Q1 and replaces the top of this track by epsilon. The situation is the same, but the PDA has two choices. It can act in two ways. So, this kind of PDA is called non-deterministic PDA or in short we can call it as NPDA, non-deterministic PDA. I will just mention those rules alone. From the state Q0, if it reads A, if the top of the stack is A, it can act in two ways. One is Q0 AA. The other one is Q1, Epsilon. It has two choices. Out of these two choices, it has to choose the right one as per the situation. That is a task of non-deterministic pushdown automata. Similarly, we have one more rule, Q0, BB. From the state Q0, it reads B, top of the stack is B. It may either push B onto the stack and continue to stay in Q0 or status change to q1 by removing whatever is available at the top of this track because of these two rules we call this design of pushdown automata as non-deterministic pushdown automata non-deterministic pushdown automata is more powerful than deterministic pushdown automata and non-deterministic pushdown automata is not equivalent to deterministic pushdown automata Okay, now let us see the instantaneous description and uh, simultaneously we keep check of these rules. Right, from the state Q0, imagine that the string is kept in the input tape and the stack is empty and the current state of pushdown automata is Q0. From Q0, it reads B, top of the stack is Z0. So, how the PDA has to react? It just pushes the symbol whatever it read onto the stack. So, B is pushed onto the stack. Since this first character is already read by the PDA, I am not writing the first character at the next instant. Okay, in this instant, Q0 B B. This is the situation what the PDA is in. From the state Q0, it reads B. And the top of this track is also B. Now the PDA has two choices. Let us explore both the choices now. Q0 BB, it either pushes B onto the track or it changes the state to Q1 by popping whatever is available at the top of this track. So non-deterministic pushdown automata in fact explores both the options. One time it tries pushing the symbol, another time it tries popping the symbol. Right, so let us look into the both the cases. In this case, B is pushed onto the stack. 
If it is pushed down to the stack at the next instant, this is the scenario of the push down automata. At the same time, it explores the pop option also. When it reads B, it pops whatever is available at the top of this stack. It happens Q1. B is already read so that I have not written here. It is said to read only A, A, B, B. That only we, I have written here. And whatever is available at the top of this stack is removed. Okay. From Q1, A, Z0, it does not know how to react. So the push down automata stops. It continues to explore this choice. Okay, now let us see what, is, what will happen here. From the state Q0, it reads A, top of the stack is B. When it reads A and the top of the stack is B, there is only one option which it has to push. So there is no other option. It is just going to push the symbol. So what happens at the next instant? It continues to stay in Q0. It read A, that A is pushed down to the stack. So these are the symbols it is yet to read. And these are the symbols available in stack now. Actually, we can easily determine that already PDA has reached the mid of the string. Because till now B, B, A, whatever it read, it got pushed down to the stack. It has reached the mid of the string and it is going to read the W, R now. That is what this instant says. But... For the PDA, it does not know that it has reached the midpoint. It has to explore both options. From Q0, it reads A, top of the stack is A. So, it pushes the symbol and explores the option. And at the same time, it pops the symbol and explores the option. So, Q0 AA means these are the two options it has to explore. Continue to stay in Q0, push A onto the top of the stack. Or else change the state to Q1 by popping whatever is available at the top of this stack. Let us see here. So from Q0, when it read A, top of the stack is also A, it continues to push. Already A is there, above A it is pushing. Now continuously let us see what happens here. Now from the state Q0, it reads B. What is available at the top of this stack? A is available, so only option it continues to push the symbol. Again, from Q0, now it reads B. What is available at the top of this track? B is available. Again, here also the PDA will make both the choices. Because whatever it reads, what is available at the top of this track, both are one and the same. So it will try both the choices. Either it pushes or it pops. If it pushes, this is the instant created. From Q0, there is nothing to read in the input tape. The entire string is pushed onto the stack. So the situation is Q0 epsilon B. So further, it does not know how to continue. But in this case, if it pops, whatever is available at the top of the stack, this is the next instant, Q1. There is nothing to read in the input tape. But top of the stack is A. In this case, also PDA does not know how to react. So it stops. So from where it will continue? All these options continuously went wrong. So now it will explore the pop option. From Q1, it pops. The symbol A, it reads. What is available at the top of the stack? A is available. So it pops. So remaining string, what is available here is BB. Now, once it enters into Q1, we know that it is continuing to pop all the symbols, whatever it reads. So, when it reads B, B is available at the top of the stack. So, pop. Continue to stay in Q1. Now, it reached the end of the string, epsilon, and the stack is empty. If this is a scenario, we can say that push down automata entered into the street Q2, retaining that Z0 as it is, and the string is accepted. Now, let us see the transition this instantaneous description from the beginning once so this is the initial configuration of the pda push down automata from here it tried to push as well as pop but pop was a wrong choice at that moment so push was the correct choice it continued here once again it pushed the symbol and continued here and here also it is making two choices push and pop at one point, it realizes this push is not the right option. All the options went wrong here. 
then it continues to pop when it continues to pop it reached the success so this is a way non deterministic push down automata functions it explores all the options for the given scenario and checks whether the string belongs to the language or not that is why we say non deterministic push down automata is more powerful than push down automata you people also take another instance of string and try writing the instantaneous description like this which will make you to understand the working of the pda thank you students